Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Club, I am Penge, and welcome back to Hive Time, where we rejoin our lovely little beehive, and it does look marvellous, I do like our little hive, I'm very proud of it. So we have our queen bee here, she is sat in the throne room, and last time out when we started, this was all we had. We had her sat in this room, and there was nothing else. So the last part, we have built all of this, and we have many, many things. We've got ourselves loads of storage up here, storing wax and nectar and pollen, all that kind of stuff. We've got ourselves a wax making kind of machine thing over here so they can go and make wax which is why the wax thing is so full in fact we are maxed out on wax at the moment we have max wax which is very good uh, we've got ourselves the little crash things to actually train up the new bees we've got ourselves the workshops where they're doing lots of research a couple of little guard stations so if someone does come in if there are other intruders we can deal with them hopefully and toward the end of the last part we got this in now this is quite a significant thing this here allows us to make honey and we've got ourselves a little bit of honey storage up there. So you can see that we have 34 out of 34 honey stored. We need some more of that. I think we need, uh, we need to get ourselves a great big kind of storage area for honey. Because in the long run, I think what we'll have to do is... Now, I'm not sure that this is how it works. I think this is how it works. I guess we turn the honey into the royal jelly. I guess that's what we do. I'm not entirely sure. So jelly is uh, 20 honey, 5 nectar and 5 pollen makes 1 royal jelly. So we want to get ourselves a load of royal jelly available because at some point in the nearish future, in the in the in 4436 seconds, Queen Tamara there sat on her throne, not doing very much, but you know she's very important. She's got a crown and a throne, so clearly she's important. Um she's going to die. She is going to die, and there is nothing we can do about that. That will just happen. That's how old she's going to get, and then it, she'll just die. So we want to make sure that we have enough royal jelly in order to spawn ourselves a new queen. If we don't, then all this will be for nothing, and, and it will be game over. The hive will have no queen. There will be no new bees, and it will all be very, very sad. So I want to just get to that point. I want to get to the point where we might see the end of Tamara, and hopefully we will have enough honey available to make enough raw jelly to then get ourselves a new queen and then everything can continue and it shall all be lovely and glorious. So right now, because we're generating honey and we can't store it, I imagine they're not actually doing anything with honey. I think we need to get ourselves some more honey storage in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and we're going to go to storage and we're going to go to honey storage. Now, I have been told by the developers that if we hold this button down, I think it's shift, we can go, all right, some honey storage, honey storage. Ah, that is marvellous. So there we go. So if you click on a thing whilst holding shift, it then retains it on the cursor and then you can just sort of paste it to wherever you like. So there we go. So our little worker bees run over there doing some building over there, which is excellent. Now, what are we researching? I can't exactly remember what we we're researching. Ah, the pollen storage upgrade, of course, yes. So we've got ourselves a couple of upgrades. We've got wax upgrade just here. And that's very big. So we can turn, turn all these uh, all these spaces into a great big wax storage area. But we can't do it for anything else. So that there is pollen. So once that's done, what we'll do is we'll turn this into a pollen storage area. Then we need to kind of work on this up here. So we need to turn maybe this bit here into a storage area. What's that there? Ah, pollen storage is complete. A bee named Teddy has just spawned. There's something special about them. Why is Teddy so special? Hang on a moment there. Which one is Teddy? You're... You're quite big. You are you look huge, Teddy. Oh, it's just because I've zoomed in on you. You're an upgraded bee sitter. Ooh, why are you upgraded? Oh, that's exciting. I don't really know what that means. I don't know if you, you bee sit bees a bit better. Oh, you've got glasses on. <laughs> oh, that is excellent. You've got glasses on. That's brilliant. Oh, I do like that. That's very, very good. Let's turn this thing then into a great... Yeah, let's upgrade that storage. So that's going to cost us a bit of wax and a bit of the pollen there. That's absolutely fine. So we'll do that. So then they should store a load of pollen in there, which is very, very handy. Uh, right, we need to give them another research thing. So now can we research... Right, cell upgrades. Nectar storage. They need 70 of that to get the nectar storage done. Um, what about honey storage? 70. And now we could, we could get that done if we're patient. We could get that researched if we're a bit patient. And I think we might need to do that because they can have 94 honey stored. They're just not getting around to it right now. So we'll leave time ticking over. We'll leave things going. What's that? Pollen reserves enabled. A minimum pollen stock level that production will... Ah, uh, right. Okay. 
So now we can click on this, levels and reserves, um, adjust the sliders for each resource to set an amount that will not be used in production of other resources. Reserve sliders are enabled. Oh, okay. So you can say, always keep 20 pollen behind and 20 wax behind for building purposes. So don't take that away and go and use it for something else. I, I, annoyingly, I want that to be 20. There we go. Marvellous. Right, we're on 20. Yay. Um, and we've got sufficient honey now. So we should be able to go into here and say, okay, I'd like to get the honey upgrade. That's 500 research points, whatever it is. 500 points of research progress. That's going to be going for a heck of a long time. I mean, yeah, Tamara's, Tamara's running out of life there. She's not quite at a half-life yet, but she's getting there. She is getting there. We need that to hurry up a little bit. A yam party. A dung beetle folk trove hollowed out a large yam. Nice. Told their inaugural annual shindig in and are asking for a quantity of pollen to decorate it with. Uh, okay, we have some pollen. We're not using it for anything else. So, okay, heck yeah. They took 20 pollen and do we get anything for that? Do we get anything nice for that? I mean, do they do, do all our bees work? More efficiently or something? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Don't know what happened there. But okay, that's fine. That's brilliant. Uh, right, I do think we might need to get another storage thing. If we look at defence, we've got ourselves... This area down here is undefended. Um, a storage. Did I say storage thing? I meant defence thing. Um, yeah, this area down here is undefended. So we might want to get ourselves a little bit of defence over here. So those cells there, and that one cell up there is unfortunately undefended. So maybe if we sort of put a cell of defense down here, it will then cover all of these areas. We might need to think about that, because that would be very, very handy indeed. Um, what have we got? So we've got four of those, we've got eight of those, uh, eight of the builder ones. Oh, we've gone over there a little bit. Only six workers, two of the foragers, who could be quite useful, and then only one defender. Yeah, okay. I feel like we might need to get ourselves another defender. Let's... Yeah, we're getting loads of those ones. We don't need that many of those. So let's bring that down to 25. Bring that down and then put the defenders up a tiny bit. How about that? Let's see if that works. Also, can we upgrade those yet? Can we upgrade the nursery? Maybe that's something we need to unlock in here. Because we can upgrade other rooms... I think some other areas have been upgraded. Like the workshop has certainly been upgraded. I know that. I bet we can upgrade the barracks at some point. That's the foraging thing, isn't it? So I bet we can upgrade that as well. So I wonder if we can upgrade that. Maybe that's something we actually do need to research and unlock. And there's me tweaking that thing. And now there's naught out of eight defenders. <laughs> that is not how that was supposed to go. That was not how that was supposed to work. Um, however, thankfully, the honey has now been entirely topped back up. So we spent all the honey on uh, researching the storage upgrade. We have now replenished the honey stocks back way, way up, which is excellent news. That's pretty good. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, nectar. Nectar is being gathered quite slowly. I would like it if they gathered more nectar quicker. I wonder if we can tell them to sort of focus on that. Can we do that here? Foraging. Every three map rooms for an additional zone allocation. Dangerous zones will cost bees lives. Deploy defender bees outside to protect forager and worker bees. Um, yeah, that's going to be exploring. We need a load more bees. We need loads more bees to be able to do that. To explore a square, we need eight of those. At the moment, we can have two. Yeah, that's, that's just not going to cut the mustard, is it? Yeah, that's not going to work right now. Okay, fine. We can work on that. We can build some more of these map room things. Uh, maybe we'll put some over here, just because we can. Just pop one there, maybe. I don't know, that might be a fun thing to do. How about we turn this into into a map room? Because because we can. There we go, we're going to create another map room, yay! And building that second map room has opened up the option to get the map room upgrade research. So we've not actually researched it yet, they're still working on the honey upgrade, but we can now research and upgrade to that. That might be worth doing. That might be worth doing. So we can't upgrade the barracks yet. I wonder if we need to build ourselves another barracks. I'm going to pop a barracks down here. Let's get ourselves Let's get ourselves a cell. Let's just build a cell cluster. That'll do. Let's just get that done around this twig that's poking up through the thing. Um, and then we'll have a cell cluster around there as well. We'll just sort of expand this area out that way. They can all build these cells. And then we need to figure out exactly where the best place is going to be for defense. 
fence, uh, maybe on the other side of that twig, maybe sort of over here. If we can then build around here as well, get us as a cell cluster there, maybe on the other side of that twig would be an excellent spot for defense because then it covers this area. It will cover that area quite nicely, hopefully. So let's pop that in there. So roll a barracks and let's see if that works. Hopefully it's sufficient cover. We'll have the three like that. So I think it should be okay. Well, I guess time will tell. We will see when it's constructed. Okay, it's constructed and we can now also get a barracks upgrade. We can research the barracks upgrade. I guess, yes, because we have three of them. So maybe some of them require a certain amount of rooms to be built before the upgrades become available. So now let's have a quick look at defense. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. So those areas are covered. Now, but there will be undefended cells when we lose the... When we lose the defender bees, which is a bit of a shame. So yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. Um, right, let's have a look then. What else do we want to do? Do you want to get another nursery type thing in? Do you want to get one of those in? There's a gap just there. We could always get another nursery in. That might be a good idea. Let's pop another nursery in just there. That might also unlock some sort of nursery upgrade. Ah, haha, we have done the honey storage stuff. Right, okay. Let's upgrade this. Um... Yeah, that looks fine. We'll go for that. Absolutely. Yes, please. And now what else can we research? I'd like to get the nectar storage done. Where is that? Is that up there? Yeah. Okay. Research that, please. That's 300 effort. So now we have no nectar left, but we can then start getting nectar storage done. So that's pretty good. So I'm quite happy with that. I'd like that to be removed and that to be removed. That will cost us a bit of pollen, but eventually that will become nectar storage. So I think we'll do that now. Let's just destroy that and destroy that. And I think they just must re they must move the, the pollen to somewhere else. So that's absolutely fine. Right, and now storage, nectar storage. Right, it's five each time. So we're going to have to be relatively patient. Oh, no, and possibly press the right buttons as well. Um, storage... Uh, nectar storage. We haven't got five of it anymore. <laughs> we have not got five. Okay, fine. We'll have to wait then. Yeah, it's very slow coming in, isn't it? It's very slow coming in. Okay, nectar storage. Yes, please. So we want that to be all nectar storage. And then when they've done the upgrade, we can then get ourselves a fancy nectar storage thing there as well. And that means we'll have big storage areas for the four main resources, which sounds good. I don't know if we need to do that, but it sounds like the right thing to do. The long, slow road. A party of snail monks have stopped by the hive on their way to see the sunrise from the top of the tree. They humbly request that their pilgrimage be blessed with honey to please their slime gods. Absolutely. Snail monks, that is brilliant. Okay, let it drizzle or no thanks. Right, we have 96 honey. What does that go down to? 24 Okay, right. I didn't realise that they wanted that much honey, but okay. Uh, now, the astute among you might look at that and think, hang on a minute, all the wax has gone. And you'll be right, all the wax has gone. I went through a great big expansion. I've decided that because we had a load of wax, we might as well just increase the amount of cells we've got available in the hive. So they're all empty cells. They're all just waiting for stuff to go into them. So I went round and just built a load of cell clusters around pretty much every edge we had just to increase the amount of space we've got to play with. I mean, we probably don't need all these cell clusters. <laughs> don't, don't need all these. But yeah, we might actually fill them up at some point. We might find a use for them at some point. Uh, what, what was that? That looked like... Is that a wasp? Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's going on there? There's a very small... What are you? Caroline, you're an upgraded builder. Oh, oh so the upgraded builders are really small. Okay, that's intriguing. I didn't realise that they were they were smaller. We're getting upgraded things now. That's very good. I'm very happy that we're getting upgraded things. Um, right, okay. How are you looking in here? So, nursery info. This is a nursery, a place where new bees will spawn and be trained. Yeah, I think we need to get more nurseries in. Nurseries increase the hive's population limit. So, I think we need to get ourselves a big load of nurseries. Because we want our population limit to be a lot higher. We want loads more bees. The moment we can have a maximum of 27, I, I don't know, let's fill up an area somewhere and we can just have it full of nurseries. We'll just put, I don't know, what about down here somewhere? What about down here? We just go nurseries, nurseries, nurseries. I don't know, we can have four, five, six, whatever. How about we just build a cell cluster? Oh, bonk. Oh, we have no wax at all. Oh, they've not got around to making new wax yet. 
Oh, okay, because they're busy building all the new stuff. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll have to wait then. We'll have to wait a little while for our wax reserves to um, to top back up. But, um, but yeah, so all our bees here are now, yeah, there we go. They've finished building, so now they can get on with wax production, which is what they're doing. Look, well done, bees. Good job. Midlife crisis. It's the Queen's birthday, not just any birthday. The big old one slash two. Halfway through a Queen's average lifespan. Exciting times. Time flies. That's also a little bit worrying because she is... Uh, she's half dead <laughs> which which means that we've got to really get a wriggle on because we need to actually get stuff done we need to actually get this whole thing working we need some royal jelly for her highness there so right roll let's get ourselves another nursery and roll another nursery and roll another nursery and then you guessed it it's another nursery so we'll put four more nurseries in so the moment we capped out 27 bees so 30, 33, that's going to go up to, oh, there's loads. There we go, 36, 39. Right, let's build some more of those. Let's get ourselves some more up here to get ourselves maybe up to a cap of 50 bees, possibly. So that'll be what, 42, 45. Um, so we'll put one there. So that'll make that up to 48, possibly. Um, and then we'll put one, I don't know, there, that'll do. Roll, nursery. Marvellous. So lots of nurseries. That's good. How is our research doing for the nectar upgrades? It's taking a long time. We're using a lot of nectar as well. What do we use nectar for? Do we use nectar to get new bees? I'm not entirely sure, but look at the population of bees. We've got so many bees. <laughs> so many bees. So many nurseries. Okay, this is great. It's looking very, very good. We just need more nectar. I don't quite know why. We've only got that little bit of nectar. Right, now I think maybe we need to start building map rooms so we can have an awful lot of the ones that go outside and do the exploring. That might be very, very handy because they could go back and bring back many resources. We're still working on topping up the honey. So we're working on that. Maybe we need some more exits. We've got ourselves 51 bees and they're just sort of all pootling about now, not really doing much. How about we build ourselves... Uh, resources and exit just there for one wax. So we've got all the wax back up and running. That's quite nice. And we'll build ourselves an exit. Uh, resources just there. Because so I think an exit means that three three bees can come out. Is that right? Um, exits can be by workers and forage when they leave the hive in search of pollen and nectar. Yeah, I think at the start it said that three can go through. So yeah, that could be quite useful. Right, storage. Store nectar there. Right, storage, store nectar there, and storage, guess what, store some nectar just there. Right, then we'll have a little sort of nectar storage thing. I think we've finished that. Auto save. A bee named Carmen has just spawned. There is something about them. Okay, you look huge, you're an upgraded defender. Oh yes, if anyone comes in, we can get them with Carmen. Um, yeah, okay, you've given birth, and something is happening in the workshop. Okie doke, right you are. So 51 bees. It's looking very, very good. We've got quite a lot of the, the bee tending ones. Maybe we need slightly less of those now. Uh, right, hang on. Let's get the upgrades done. So now let's go to research. And can we get... We can get bee upgrades. That's that's an awful lot of resources. <laughs> it's a heck of a lot of resources. A jelly refinery. Maybe now is the time that we start thinking about getting a jelly refinery. But I do want to get all these things as well. Um... Cluster, allows clusters of nurseries to be upgraded. Upgraded nurseries further increase bee sitter population capacity and the hive population limit and have a chance to spawn two bees at once. Oh, that sounds marvellous indeed. Yeah, that could be really good. Wax assembly upgrade. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get the nursery upgrade. Barracks upgrade, map room upgrade. I think the nursery upgrade. Let's start getting some of these upgrades in. And then we do need to start generating some royal jelly. We need to generate some jelly because we do need we do need to actually get a new a new bee a new queen bee. Because otherwise, yeah, this hive as glorious and lovely as it will be, uh, will be that was that was a terrible pun. Um, it, it will be useless if we don't have a queen. It will just be dead and desolate and very very sad. Right? Can we also upgrade this? Upgrade the storage? Yes, please. And then once that's done. We will have one improved storage area for each of our resources, which is very, very good. 
Now, there is one thing I hadn't appreciated. I hadn't really understood the fact that we can cluster these things together and then they will also be upgraded. Now, I don't know how the clustering of these uh, things is going to work. So we'll see when this is done, because they're doing this pretty quick, to be fair. The nursery upgrade is going great guns. They're doing very, very well at that. That's brilliant. So yeah, I want to see what it does. So it, is it just, you know, it needs three in a line to upgrade it? Is it, does it need like this? It needs sort of seven in this shape here to be upgraded. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, I'm going to be intrigued to find out when they've done this. Population decline. The number of bee sitters appears to be declining and may not be enough to sustain the hive's population. Um, I think it should be okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, population. Increase that a bit up to 33% perhaps. Just increase that. That can be fixed. Uh, let's bring that down to say 20%. Put that to 20. Lock that. That's now at 40. So bring that, I don't know, 35% and then level them out like that. Something like that. There we go. Yeah, that's come down to 12. Yeah, we need more of those because they look after our bees. There we go. Back up to 14. Okay, right. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, okay, right. So it says there, upgrade nursery. Ah, right. They're in a sort of a four by four shape. Right. So if we go to, if we put a cell just there, we could do that. And then we, if we put a nursery just here... That means we can upgrade those, which is good. So that might help. There we go. So then get ourselves a roll and a nursery. So we'll upgrade. Yeah, do that. So upgrade the nursery. Yes, please. And go down to here and upgrade that nursery. Hurrah. Right. What research do we want to do next? I kind of feel like we should get something in that can that can make stuff, like the jelly refinery. I feel like we should get that. It's going to cost a thousand. Oh my goodness me. Right, we should possibly get on that really, really soon. <laughs> that, that is going to take a heck of a long time. And the storage is 45. Yeah, we're going to be here a long time doing that. Oh, look, they've upgraded the store, the, the thing here, look. That's lovely, the, the, the little nursery. There's little sort of bee pods where they can go and be mobiles and be... Oh, there's a train. There's a lovely little wooden train that the bees play with. I do like that. I like incidental details like that. That's that's very lovely. Um, how's everything else looking? It's all looking pretty good. I think we just need to sit back and wait. I mean, yeah, that, that concerns me. I don't like the fact that now we're... Before, we were sort of running toward halfway, and it, it felt okay. Now we are running toward what? That's going to be the next sort of big one, isn't it? When there's a quarter of her life left. That's going to be not great. That's going to be very unfortunate. Right, hang on, hang on. Now we've got 33 of 34 of those. Maybe we need to bring that down a tad. 28% of that population. Uh, ah, right. We can lock that now. So lock that in. And then, yeah, we've got too many of those. In fact, unlock that. Let's put that back up. 32. Lock that. Because there's too many of those. There's too many map room bees. Um, however, can we, can we upgrade them? Can we do an upgrade to the map rooms? I mean, do we want to get them in? Uh, let's build Let's build four map rooms, and I hope that they upgrade in the same way. In fact, why don't I just do that thing that I did? There we go, the shift-click kind of thing. Let's do this, and let's see if we can upgrade the map rooms. I can't remember if we've unlocked that or not. I'm not entirely sure if we have, actually, now thinking about it. But there you go, we've got four more map rooms. Uh, I mean, does that, does that help? Does that help matters? We can now go and explore a new zone let's go and do that um yeah i don't know which one that one unexplored zone just there so do we just go out and explore that now i don't really know it's selected for foraging it's not dangerous we could do with finding a pollinated area that might be quite good that could be quite handy um okay right so we'll leave them to go out and do that that's fine um also yeah so do we want to select yeah there you go look so did that, did that cost us eight bees? Did it kill eight of our bees? We don't just need... Ah, right, okay, right. Hang on a minute. That's quite interesting. Let's look at that again. So we're now up to... Oh, we're down to six. Okay, yeah, we can't do that now. <laughs> I think that might have killed our bees. I didn't realise it was going to kill them to death, but okay, fine. Uh, yeah, when that goes up, which is not doing right now, maybe we'll see how that works. So yeah, when that gets up to eight, We'll see if when we click one of these squares, it actually sacrifices those eight bees. Okay, so we're on nine of those bees. So let's do this. Let's pick that 
and then let's pick, I don't know, that square just there. Yeah, so they must go out and have a little wander about and explore, but that's it, they never come back. They go out and explore and then they die out there. Um, okay, right, well, let's select that area to go and forage in as well. Yeah, so we want to try and find an area. We don't want to find a dangerous area because that's bad, obviously. We want to find ourselves a pollinated area because I bet when we have one of those, I bet that absolutely maxes out the resources that we can bring back. We're doing very well right now, though, in terms of everything. Maybe we need to get some more storage stuff in because we're, we're, we're maxed out. We're absolutely maxed out. We might as well get some more storages in and then we can just have even more stuff stored. So, um, OK, over here looks like a nice area and just here as well. So let's get another couple of storage things in. Uh, let's get ourselves, I don't know, that one there. Oh, the foundation of a successful hive. <gasps> Are you calling us successful? That's lovely. Thank you. Your hive has a productive population and you're able to have new bees specialise in particular roles. Continue to grow your hive with storage, production and role focused facilities. Uh, oh, hang on. Wasn't that what we got told to do anyway? Yes, we need 600 jelly to create a new queen. Have they done some research that I should be aware of? Why that's brought that up? I don't know. Okay, right. So storage. Let's store whatever. Which one was that one? Pollen. So yes, yeah, so we'll have pollen, 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 pollen. There's a load of pollen. Then in here, we'll store, I don't know, honey. Because why not, eh? So we'll store honey just there. Um, have we got any room up there? How about when that's in, we could then... Yeah, because they're getting rid of that. So now let's destroy that. So get rid of that. And then this can be nectar storage. So nectar storage up there. Oh, oh I've run out of wax. Oh, okay, right. Let, let's give them time to get everything you know, back in order and get more wax and get stuff sorted. A mysterious package. Anton picked up a grub the other day only to find that it was three drunk stink bugs in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke, lovely. I like little things like that. I like the little charming things that are put into the game. They don't need to be there. They don't need to be there at all, but they just add a little bit of sort of flavour and colour and stuff, and I do like that. Right, so we've got all that sorted. Right, can we now get those in as... Can we get those in as nectar storage? I don't know if I press the right buttons, it might help. Um, yeah, nectar storage and nectar storage. Okay, so we've got nectar, that, that. Uh, right, wax. We could do with one final bit for wax storage. Um, oh, how about over here, look? That looks like a good place for wax storage. Why the heck not? So how much is that going to take? Five. Yeah, okay, we'll be fine. So there you go. So wax storage, yay. And then we want to upgrade these things as well. So upgrade that. Are we going to have enough wax to upgrade all of these things? Probably not. That requires 40 wax. So that's quite a significant chunk there. But okay, that's fine. Uh, right, let's leave them to get on with what they need to do. How is the research coming along? They're on 702 out of 1,000. We could do with you hurrying up with that quite a lot because <laughs> because that is key the jelly refinery is key and our queen she's not getting any younger she's not getting any younger at all she has 2830 seconds left to live so if you could you know, chop chop with the researcher that'd be great what's going on here it makes a buzzing sound you see olaf's favorite tool is the buzz saw buzz buzz <laughs> good for you olaf i'm glad you've got a favorite tool that's marvelous Looking at some of the very fancy research things that we can do, a lot of them seem to require 250 of a particular resource. So we are currently at 224 maximum for wax and 244 for nectar and, and pollen and 224 for honey. So I think we need a little bit more storage and then we can start doing all these other fancy sort of upgrades. I mean, those things are going to take no time at all. 40 for the barracks upgrades and that kind of stuff. Jelly storage is going to be the important one next. They're looking very good. They're looking very good for the jelly refinery. So we want to get that in as soon as possible. Now, I don't know what shape it's going to take. I don't know how it's going to look, but it's done. Right, let's get the jelly. Oh, hang on. We can't do the jelly storage. Oh, allows jelly storage cells to be constructed. Ah, we need to put the jelly refinery. They're going to put a bit of the jelly into here, into the throne room, I guess. And then when we've got 12 of it, we can then build some proper storage because we need to research it first. OK, um, well, let's have a look down here and then see what we can do. So resources, a jelly refinery looks like a sort of a diamondy sort of shape. Well, let's build it there then. If we can build it there, that will be fine. So resources, jelly refinery, we can build one. We've got enough stuff for it. So we'll put one of those in there. And that means we can start making jelly. That is that's very important. That is key. 
That is a very significant thing. Right, these guys are not researching anything. So how about we get ourselves the... Where's the map room upgrade? The map room upgrade. There we go, 60. That will take no time at all for these guys. They will be absolutely on that. Right, we have a jelly refinery. <gasps> this is very exciting. We've got a jelly refinery. So now we should see. They've got 16 out of 24 already. Oh my goodness. Right, we've nearly maxed out on that. That's brilliant. Will has just spawned. There is something special about Will. There's something about Will. Let's go and find Will, shall we? Where are you, Will? Um, Can't see where you are, Will. Hang on a minute. Whereabouts are you? Will? Which one is Will? Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh no. Which one is Will? Has Will flown away? <laughs> Will's just cleared off. Um, Will? Where are you? Left click to follow. Hang on a minute. Click there. He must be... Oh, there he is. He's a teeny tiny little bee. It's a teeny tiny bee. There he is, an upgraded bee sitter. Oh, that's marvellous. There we go. So we've got Will the Supreme Babysitter. That's very exciting. They finished doing that research already. <laughs> Took no time at all. Right, and then let's get jelly storage done, which will take even less time. And then we can start doing cell upgrades. In the meantime, we do want to start expanding. We need more storage. So let's just grab a load of cell clusters. Uh, we'll just chuck a few over here like that. Gonna take up quite a bit of wax, but that's absolutely fine. We can get all that in, it's all good. Let's also upgrade the map room. So it's in the right alignment. So yeah, we'll upgrade the map room, please. Oh, they're sort of in a three. Okay, they're in a three like that. So they're not like the nurseries. They're sort of three in a row like that. And then the one underneath is not required. Okie doke. Well, there we go. That's a thing. Right, so now we've got an upgraded map room, which is nice. One new research option is available. Bigger baskets. Okay. What's bigger baskets about? Where's that appeared? Jelly upgrade, barracks upgrade. Where's that? Uh, B upgrades? Oh my goodness me. There's all sorts of exciting things now. Bigger baskets increase the amount of, forager, uh, amount of resources that all future foragers can carry. <gasps> That's quite good. Oh, that's very good. Right, we've got all of those. We have all of the cells in, which is brilliant. Um, so jelly refinery, upgrade. We could possibly do that. Ah, no, we can't do that because we haven't got enough, uh, haven't got enough storage of any of that stuff. Um, let's get the barracks upgrade. We'll get that. And then we need some jelly storage. So um, let's get, let's change this to be nectar storage. Uh, no, 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 the right button. Let's let's do this properly. There we go. So, uh, next, oh no, pollen. That's pollen down there, isn't it? Pollen, 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 pollen. So that can all be pollen storage. Down here, I think it might make sense to have nectar storage. So yes, we'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. So we've got plenty of that down there. So that's going to be, oh, what did I just put there? Did I just put nectar storage? What's that going to be? Oh, no, 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 not nectar, not nectar. I meant jelly. I meant jelly. Destroy these. Destroy, <laughs> destroy. Wait, 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 wait. Right, okay. Right, hang on. Let's try again. Uh, where is it? Uh, uh, which one am I looking at? Jelly. That's what I want. Jelly, 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 jelly. I've not got enough royal uh, of the jelly. Okay, right, fine. Just wait on the cursor for a while while they go and get some more jelly for us. Oh, I don't think it's a jelly problem. I think they are entirely ready for that jelly. I think it's a honey issue. I don't think they had enough honey, but okay, right. There we go, right. That's that now sorted. Marvellous. They can store a lot of the lovely, lovely stuff. They can store the jelly. Uh, we need another honey storage area, which means that we need to get another cluster of those. That should be sufficient. Marvellous. And over here, we can have more wax storage. So we'll get that all laid out, which is lovely. So there we go. Um, up there, we've got nectar. So we'll put another nectar one up here. So that should help as well. I think we've got enough of everything. Yeah, we've got plenty of resources by the look of it. So that's good. Um, I think we might pop got an exit over there. Maybe we should put an exit over this side as well, just so we can get people out and about doing stuff. So resources, put an exit in there as well, please. And maybe one just there as well, just so we can get more resources in so we can top things up a little bit quicker. So there we go. Okay, research. They're not researching anything at all. So we want to make sure that they actually get researching lots of things. We do need the jelly storage upgrade. That would be very, very handy. So we might have to wait a little while for that. That would be useful. I don't think we can do anything else. B upgrades require a lot of the jelly as well. So yeah, it's going to take a while for us to get that. So at the moment, research stuff will stop until, yeah, we want to get that really. 
70 jelly lets us build the storage upgrade and then we can do all of that stuff there so we might want to get another refinery in as well maybe we should get another jelly refinery in um let's put one of those i don't know just there cell cluster we'll put one down here so it's near here look so it's sort of in the area uh, and then we can get another one down there as well so we're generating a lot we're generating a lot of lovely jelly uh because yeah at the moment we seem to have stored on 38 so it'd be great if somebody could come along here and just make some more jelly the pilgrims return <gasps> The, the, the snail monks have come back. The snail monks you previously assisted have returned to the hive with tales of the most pure sunlight imaginable. They thank you for your generosity and offer thanks by way of a ritual that seems to involve a lot of disappearing into shells for extended periods of time. Right on. Did that help us in any way, shape or form? What's that? Harvest multiplier. Oh, we're going to get the honey back. Multiply by two. Oh, so we give them a load of honey initially and now they're able to just give it us back twofold oh that's quite nice oh thank you buddies that's amazing that's very lovely right let's upgrade the storages whilst we are not doing anything else i'm, I'm acutely aware that the, the queen is running out of life and we don't have anywhere near 600 jelly available so yeah i'm getting a little bit concerned so um right resources jelly refinery resources jelly refinery oh i've got enough wax Oh, right, hang on a minute. We'll lurk here until we have enough wax and then we'll get ourselves another jelly refinery in. And now we can research the jelly storage upgrade, which is going to be useful. However, the builder effort required is quite big. I'm a little bit concerned that all this is going to be for nothing because we do not have enough jelly. I mean, there's loads and loads of, of work going on to generate jelly. Look, they're down here immediately on this. They're going, yes, more jelly. Um, honey is becoming a bit of an issue of running out of that. I've built another refinery here so we can go and get a lot more honey because we need the honey to generate the jelly. I think maybe let's get ourselves a cell cluster and then get a cell and a cell and a cell. Let's put another series of, uh, series of storages for this just here. And then maybe... Maybe we even need some more storage area for it as well. Maybe we'll put another bit over here. So a cell cluster. Yes, we can have one, two, three storage areas for that. That might take quite a while. But yeah, once we've done that, I think we then need to leave it. We need to just leave them to just get on with doing some stuff. So where are we? Jelly storage. It costs five for each one of those. Oh no. Ah, and we're out of we're out of nectar. Okay, right. We just need to let the bees just get on with stuff for a while. No more building. They all need to go out of the exits and bring back lots of lovely resources for us because we're low on lots of things. Okay, I've fiddled about with the population settings a little bit just so we get ourselves lots of the foragers because we're quite low on resources. And because we're making lots of honey, it's then using up quite a lot of the nectar. So I think, yeah, look at that. We were on 35 nectar and it all of a sudden went down to nothing because we're using it to make honey. So once that honey maxes out at 324 or whatever, that might be quite useful. But of course, we're then taking the honey to go into here to make the jelly. So yeah, we're going to get the supply sort of chain going on, but we can't get enough nectar. We're just struggling to get any kind of nectar at all. Things are looking pretty good though. Look, they're down here. They're working on this getting some more jelly out of it so hopefully now i wonder yeah so look we're still doing this we're still gathering nectar yeah there we go so we've got 20 nectar 26 30 20 yeah we're, we're using a heck of a lot of that stuff right let's get some more jelly storage in if we can let's just see if we can do this there we go marvelous right so we managed to sort of blag that we managed to get that in that was pretty handy um and then we want to get ourselves that just there so we can build another storage area just here so there we go so that'll be quite handy right can we get can we start working on the upgrade is that what we're working on oh, no i didn't want to press that one uh research yeah jelly storage upgrade it's just over halfway it's over halfway and tomorrow has 1817 seconds left to live chop chop little bees hurry 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 Okay, I've gone ahead on a very ambitious program to try and maximize the amount of bees we've got. We need more bees because we need more resources. So over here, we've built a heck of a lot of nurseries. Now I was gonna upgrade these. Unfortunately, we need a load of nectar to upgrade those. And the nectar that, uh, that we've got is not sufficient. So we've got six up to 10. I think when I looked at this, it needs 40 nectar 
to upgrade those nurseries. So we could get there eventually, but right now we're gonna struggle. But we have got a lot of extra bees. We've got a load of bees now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around, throw in a few exits where there's just the odd tile here and there. So yeah, there's a tile there that we can't really do anything with. So put a couple of exits in. That means that more bees can get out and doing get out and do stuff. They're all asking for little badges. A new buddy cop film breaks box office records, <laughs> inspiring a portion of the highest population to become defenders. Good ones. Oh yes, look at this. Look at this. This is the this is the buddy cop movie that you that you didn't know you needed, but you really do need this in your life. Two bees. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Right, typical bees. Marvelous. So a load of them. We now have. Right. Okay. We have we have 60, 60 defender bees. I think that might be a little bit excessive. I mean, anything that comes toward us is going to get completely mullered. I mean, I don't know if we get attacked. I haven't really seen us get attacked as of yet. Ah, have we completed the cell upgrade? Ah, marvellous. Okay, right. The jelly refinery upgrade could be useful. That could be quite handy. Allows jelly refineries to be upgraded. Upgraded jelly refineries automatically deposit resources into adjacent storage cells. Ah, that could be handy. Because all of our jelly refineries are next to storage areas. Oh, that could be marvellous. If that was a thing that we could get in, that would be really good. Right, let's upgrade that storage and that one and that one at great expense. Yeah, that's that's going to be quite costly. But once that's in, that should maximise our storage. I don't know exactly what to. I'm really concerned we're not going to have enough. <laughs> I'm not going to have enough royal jelly. And that's going to make me very, very sad. Population decline. Now nah, we're fine. That's that's fine. It's fine. We've, we're, we'll get back on top of it. Yeah, there's certainly less bees because they all went to become cops. They went to become cops and they all died, <laughs> which was very silly of them. Right, 264. Is that just going to maximise it to 94? Oh, no. We need like another load of these. Ah, right. Quick. Emergency. Do all of the building all of the time. Comes with a figurative guarantee. A hive-to-hive -hive sales grasshopper stops by with an offer to demonstrate a fancy device for converting pollen directly into royal jelly. The process comes with lots of disclaimers, no warranty, and clearly less thorough testing than is implied. Sounds dodgy, sounds exciting. Do you know what? We've got nothing much to lose. So yes, it sounds very exciting. Yay, let's do that. So what does that mean? Uh, resource change. Resource levels have been exchanged. Minus 18 nectar plus 65 plus 65 jelly oh so it worked it was a real thing he was telling the truth he was actually telling the truth oh well well done it's a shame that our storage was full which is a bit of a tragedy because he would have given us an extra 65 royal jelly for 18 pollen oh that's a little bit unfortunate isn't it yeah of course we didn't get these built because we're waiting for nectar we've run out of nectar again i want to get these done as storages but we just can't we just don't have the nectar right now so yeah, we need to wait for that to build up again like it is now. It's looking pretty good. So maybe we leap while we've got the chance. Yep, it's looking pretty good. Right, storage. Uh, jelly storage. Right, build much in the way of jelly storage. There we go. And we'll probably build... We need to get some more of that in because that's still not going to be enough. We need to get that in again, I think. So yes, yeah, so we need to get some more building underway. So let's get some more of this constructed over this side. That is, That's the edge. That's the edge of the world, I think. We've come to the edge of the map over here. Oh, okay, right. So we'll have to work around that. That's fine. We can deal with that. I think we need to wait to get 150 honey to get this jelly refinery upgraded. Because I think that's going to be really handy. If they can just automatically pour the jelly into the storage areas, that's got to be really useful. So we'll wait for that. Now, the honey is very, very sort of... It goes up and then it comes down because they're using it to make more jelly, of which there's now quite a significant storage space for. So, yeah, we'll wait for 150, and then we will invest in this upgrade for the jelly refineries. I'm a little bit concerned that we're going to run out of time. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very sorry, Bee Queen, whatever your name is. I can't remember what you're called now. But, um, but yeah, I'm a little bit concerned we're not going to get there. But we shall try. We shall try until the very, very end. We shall not give up. Do you know, things are beginning to turn around and it's looking all right. So we've got this gigantic storage space down here for all of the jelly. So there's, what, five big storage pools and all these little extra ones, which we can't upgrade because we can't merge them all together because they're not in the right sort of, you know, the right layout. But 
It's looking very good. We've got 522, 538, 544 jelly. So they are getting on with it. Um, this here, this still seems to be the problem. Nectar is constantly low, but we're using that to make honey, which we're then using to make the jelly. I'm now quite confident that we will be there in time. I think that's going to be okay. Tamara is coming down to, what, 795 seconds of life. So she's got, what, 12 minutes or something like that? 12 minutes to live. So we do need to get this, you know, we need to get that up a little bit quicker. But, I mean, they're already on it. Look, 556 out of 64, 576, 582. <gasps> It, it's very nearly there. And we haven't even upgraded these things yet. We've not upgraded the uh, the things that make them, with the, the jelly, whatever they are, the jelly refineries. We've not even upgraded them. They've not finished the research yet. So, I mean, they're, what, what three quarters of the way through? So they're nearly done. But it might be that we just don't need them. We just don't need that those things researched. We don't need to implement them because we're going to get there sooner rather than later. In fact, are you putting that in? We're on 601. We're on 601 out of 624. Oh, that is excellent news. Now, one thing I don't know is if we click on here and go to new queen, there is a 600 cost. Yes, that's fine. We can cope with that. And then there is a little timer that says zero. Now, I don't know if that's going to take us some time to generate a new queen or not. Um, so, Tamara, you've got just over 10 minutes left to live. I think we might replace you with a shiny new queen right now because we have the resources. And this place is looking excellent. Look at it. It looks brilliant. It looks marvellous. So you've done very well, Tamara. You have, you, have, you have got a lovely hive. You've got all this stuff. This is all your little children coming in like the tiny deadly wind. Oh, this could be somewhat tragic. Ninja fruit flies, pesky ninjas, have attacked an undefended area of the hive, leaving only the smallest of footprints and a slight depletion in honey reserves. Oh, okay, darn. Oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. It was maxed out. I think it's come to 259 now. So that's a little bit annoying. But yeah, look, this is all your work, all the work of your children here. All the work of Tamara's children has generated this lovely place. It's very busy. It's very industrious. But Tamara, now it is time for you to stand down and for a new queen to take over. So here we go. Let's let's zoom in. Let's zoom in and see what happens here. So I want to kind of get into the middle. So there's Tamara there. So if we go to get a new queen, a new queen arises. A new queen has been born. She may either take over this hive or leave to found a new one. Do you know what? This hive is good. I like this hive. I think maybe if we didn't take over this hive and went to do a new hive, this hive would die out and that would make me sad because I like it here. So this hive is good. So let's have a look. So which one is... Oh my goodness me. That You're enormous. Hang on. So who's still in charge? So Tamara the second. Oh, there's Tamara. So Tamara the old queen is now just sort of bumbling around. And then Tamara the second is the new queen. Oh, that's marvellous. <laughs> so we've got... Tamara, the now not queen, and then Tamara, the new queen. So Tamara the second has 7,193 seconds to live. And there we go. We did it. So there we go. That was hive time. And I've really enjoyed this. I think this is a very, very lovely game. Given that this is free, I think this is quite an amazing thing. I mean, it's quite easy to play. You know, you can understand how it works on a very basic level. You build the cells, you put things in the cells. There is the element of making sure that everything fits together properly. I mean, we've not done a very good job of that. We've not made it the most efficient of places. There's all sorts of empty cells all over the place, but that's fine. Um, yeah, it's got that nice sort of element of there's a deadline. You can't just sort of sit back and bumble around and bumble around. So I did there. But yeah, there's a deadline. Your queen bee is going to die at some point and you need to get on with it to make sure there's a new queen bee. So, you know, there's an element that you need to get on with some stuff. So you can't just sit back and relax. You have to actually do stuff and get proactive. And yeah, it looks brilliant. I like the little pop-ups that appear with all the little stories and stuff. All the bees are very lovely. Just sort of, you know, sort of buzzing around and being very industrious. And, um, and yeah, it's got a nice level of challenge to it. And I just think it's a really very enjoyable game. So it's on Itch.io. If you want to go and check it out, you can do. There are links to the Itch.io page in the video description below. But I think we will finish up for now. And we will leave the hive in the very capable bee hands of Tamara the second. And we shall finish up. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, which I really hope you have, because I've had a lovely time playing it, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe. to Keep up to date with all the other stuff and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time though. Ha ha! So 
have that yet, buggers. This game is very hard, and it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.